1811 and 1812, West Tennessee shook violently due to a series of powerful earthquakes. The impacts of these quakes are still visible today. And in 1811 and 1812, there were not a lot of people living in this part of the world. Um, so it was mostly frontier, but it was still enough people around that it is reasonably well documented um, with some very nice uh, uh, personal accounts from people that were living in the area at the time. One of those accounts comes from Mary Morris Smith, who wrote, the houses, the trees, the whole earth shook some thought the end of the world was come and time would be no more. It was quite frightening because the, the we theorize that the, or, or we estimate that the size of the earthquakes were about a magnitude somewhere between seven and eight. And that's a very large earthquake. If you remember uh, some of the more recent earthquakes in California were only on the order of uh, six and a half or so. And they caused a great deal of, of damage to the infrastructure anyway. The New Madrid earthquakes were so powerful that they even created a lake. The tributary that feeds the Real Foot Lake had blocked that and formed Real Foot Lake in, the, over the, in, in that series of earthquakes in 1811 and 1812. So in West Tennessee, it, it shaped it in, in a very real way. Will another set of earthquakes shape Tennessee again in the future? It's possible. But in addition to those three very large earthquakes, um, there's there's there we can do estimates based on the geology and the, and the number of times they've happened in the past and, and the USGS estimates that uh, there's about a 10 percent uh, probability of a repeat of those uh, 1811 style earthquakes in the next 50 years. Mary Mays, News 2.